We have new information this evening about a shoot, that shooting in King Sessing that left five people dead and two children injured. Detectives spent the holiday canvassing this very large crime scene in southwest Philadelphia. This afternoon, we learned the quick thinking officers on the scene last night most likely saved many lives. CBS Philadelphia's Ryan Hughes has details. All you do is call we got somebody where along Chaos on the streets of southwest Philadelphia only hours before Independence Day. What happened last night in our concession neighborhood was unimaginably disgusting and horrifying. Police see a 40 year old gunman wearing a bulletproof vest and armed with an AR 15 style rifle and handgun started shooting around 8 30 Monday night in the area of South 56th Street and Chester Avenue in the city's King Sessing neighborhood. The suspect then began shooting aimlessly uh, at occupied vehicles and individuals on the street as they walked. Commissioner Daniel Outlaw and Mayor Jim Kenney commended the police officers' quick actions. They engaged the shooter, who was also firing at police. Police responded immediately and courageously, getting victims to the hospital and successfully apprehending the armed suspect in a short amount of time, likely preventing more deaths. Police say at least 50 shots were fired. A two year old and 13 year old were both hit in the legs but are in stable condition. Five other people did not survive. The victims have been identified as 20 year old Lashid Merritt, 29 year old Dimir Stanton, 59 year old Ralph Morales, 15 year old Dewan Brown, and 31 year old Joseph Wama Jr. City leaders are vowing to seek justice for the victims' families. The man who did this is in custody. The man who did this will be facing multiple counts of murder. Police say there appears to be no link between the shooter and the victims. DA Larry Kreiser tells us his office is now working with the victims' families, and the alleged shooter is due in court on Wednesday. Reporting outside Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Ryan Hughes, CBS News, Philadelphia.